Class, in front of us, we have our chicken, okay, our small chicken. We have our yellow cutting board, our sharpened bony knife. I have a stack of clean paper towels, my display tray here, and then I've got my waste receptacle. It's very important what we, what we preach in this class um, and in, in the culinary industry is mise en place, okay? Mise times three, it's very important. So you start with yourself, my chef's hat, my tote, my, my smock, okay, my apron, I got everything I, I need, my hands are clean, and what I'm fabricating, what I'm, what I'm about to show you all is how to fabricate, how, how we break down this, this chicken. And ultimately, the finished product is gonna be how we want you to display it on, on, at your stations. Let's get started. So, here we have our chicken, okay? And the important thing to remember with this chicken, first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and remove the wishbone. Okay, the wishbone is right there at the at the top where the head used to be. Okay, you want to go ahead. You want to make two incisions, one on each side, two small incisions. Okay, take your finger inside and break off the. Pull out that wishbone. And the reason why we do that is because it'll make removing that supreme chicken breast so much easier and your finished product is gonna be that much better. Okay, so that's step one on our, on our fabrication. The second part is you wanna, understanding the animal, understanding what it is that you're, that you're fabricating, that you're, that you're um, breaking down, okay, um, and the joints and the skeletal structure is so important. So the next part of my fabrication on this chicken, okay, is I'm going to cut the, um, the wing, okay, at the second joint. And actually a wing is actually broken down into, into three parts, okay? You've got the wing tip, okay? You've got the paddle, and then you've got the drumette. The supreme, the airline breast, is basically, the, it's the breast with the drumette attached. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to make an incision around the second, below the second joint, okay, around that drumette bone, okay, and then I'm gonna scrape that excess meat, that cartilage, down, okay, I'll come back to that later, I'll clean it off, and then simply just popping that, um, those two, upper two parts of the wing off, okay, and we'll set that off to the side. And we're gonna go ahead and repeat the same process on the other side, Okay, using a sharp knife, right? A sharp knife is more efficient and safer than a dull knife. Scrape some of that excess meat down. Okay, you don't have to, if you don't feel comfortable doing it like this, I've done a few chickens in my lifetime, you can certainly do it on, on, on your cutting board. I find that it's a little bit easier because the natural weight of the bird pulls down and it kind of straightens out that, that wing for you, so it, it kind of helps me uh, when, I'm, when I'm cleaning off this bone. It's up to you. Okay, go ahead and we're just gonna reserve those wings for later. Okay, see there's some excess blood and some water here on my board. I'm gonna keep it, keep it clean, keep it dry. You're gonna hear me say that over and over again. Okay. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna make an incision, okay, between the thigh and the breast, between the thigh and the breast, all right? So what I do is I take the skin, okay, that skin, that extra fiber skin that's there uh, between the, the breast and the, uh, the leg, okay, and I pull toward the breast, and then with my knife, I'll cut toward the leg because essentially you want to keep as much of the skin intact, covering the breast to keep it moist for that presentation as you possibly can. So I make a small incision, okay, on both sides of the bird. And by pinching and bringing some of that leg, some of that skin closer to the breast, you just have more skin to, more skin to work with. Okay, so once, once I've done that, okay, I take my thumbs and I put them on the, on the thigh, okay? You can feel the bone and, and underneath them, I'm holding the, um, kind of by the backbone. Okay, then all you're doing is you're gonna pop those thigh bones out of the socket, out of that back, okay? And what that does is it 
make sure your chicken lay nice, nice and flat. Okay, nice flat surface. That's what you want. Starting from the the neck. Okay, the top of the breast, all the way down to the uh, all the way down to the to the base of the of the breast. Okay, you want to do a slicing motion. You feel, you'll feel a bone here, a keel bone. Okay, you want to follow that bone from the top all the way down. Make one incision. You don't, you don't really want to saw. It, you know, you just want to do a nice uh, slicing motion, nice and easy. Okay, and then you want to follow that follow that breast all the way down to the keel bone. When your knife naturally stops, you've reached the bone. Don't don't you shouldn't hear any cracking. You shouldn't be applying very excess uh, pressure. Okay. You want to just go ahead and follow that rib cage and that keel bone all the way down, okay? And then you want to go ahead and remove that breast and that supreme from the, the carcass, okay? So that's that's one half, okay? That's one half of the bird, of the breast, okay, of the airline, which I'll come back and I'll and I'll clean that up later. Now I recommend you take your you chick you take your chicken, you turn it around where you're working working toward you. Okay. And you do the same thing. Follow that keel bone all the way down. Once you get to that, once you get to that rib cage, stop and then just follow that rib cage down the side of the bird. Okay. Let the knife do the work. Let the knife do the work for you guys. All right. Another trick some 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 chefs do is they'll actually come underneath and they'll put their thumb on the drumette bone, which kind of is a reminder. So as as a reminder to uh, make sure that they cut. Um, between the shoulder blade and that 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 uh, drumette bone, as to not cut above it to where they're going to be removing the um, the drumette, because that that does happen if you're not careful. You can actually cut the breast away from the from the bird and still have that drumette bone um, on the on the carcass, and you don't want that. You want that drumette bone to come off with the breast, okay? So there, there's my, my two Supremes. I'll come back and clean those up here in just a minute. Now I want to show you guys how to remove the, the thigh, okay? The thigh, the leg, actually, it's in two parts. There's the drumstick and then there's the thigh, okay? So, you, if you, again, if you understand the skeletal structure of the animal that you're, that you're fabricating, okay, it makes it so much easier. And then there's, there's a trick with this... The thigh is there's a little piece of meat underneath, okay? The thigh, the thigh uh, meat, and that's called the um, oyster, the oyster meat, okay? And essentially, what that is, and I've already cut it away on this, on this one, on the one side of the um, chicken here, is it's a little pocket of meat, and it's a delicate, it's a delicate piece of meat, tender piece of dark meat, okay? That a lot of chefs forget about, and it's kind of a treasure, okay? In our in our realm, what we do. Um, so you want to make sure that you um, include that when you remove the the thigh and the leg, okay, from the from the carcass, okay. And basically, if you never, if you haven't done this before, you're not sure kind of what to look for. If you, what I tell students is, if you take your thumb and you take your index finger and you squeeze them together, there's like a little pocket of of, of muscle and skin that kind of will come up naturally on our hands, okay. And then if you press down on that, that to me is kind of what a uh, the oyster meat feels like and you can kind of feel it you can kind of see it when you turn the bird over and you're looking at the back you can kind of see that that muscle that little piece of uh, meat there to kind of show you the guide how to remove it okay so that's what i did and i'll show you on the second i'll show you on the second uh the st second leg okay so this is the drumette and then the thigh which i'll come back and i'll clean it up here in just a second again i'll show you on this side you can see that piece of meat, kind of to me again, kind of kind of resembles that little.
pocket of meat there that you have between your thumb and your and your index finger, okay, that's that oyster meat. You want to make sure that you include that when you remove the the thigh, okay, from this bird. And once you kind of get started, you can either use your thumb or the the end of your um, bony knife. I wouldn't do both because you don't want to cut your cut yourself. Okay. So there. Now, what you have here is the carcass that's remained. Okay, this is great for stock. You can roast this, you can blanch this, and then you can use it for a white stock. You can use it for a brown stock. What we'll go ahead and do is we'll set this off to the side because we are going to be collecting these and we are going to be using these for our when we do our um, our stock our stock demo. All right, so now that I've got the main portions of the chicken removed from the carcass, and I've got my carcass off to the side, I'm resetting my, my cutting board, and I'm going to break down, I'm going to clean up these, these uh, portions of meat, okay, that I just fabricated. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to start with the Supreme here. Okay, I'll start with the Supreme. Now, you want to leave as much skin as you possibly can um, over the breast, okay, because it's going to protect it, like I mentioned earlier. It's going to make for a nice presentation. It's going to keep that white meat, okay, it's going to keep it uh, nice and moist as well, okay. So, first thing I do, okay, is I'll take a little bit of time and I'll scrape down this drumette bone because you want a real clean bone. You want a real clean bone, okay. So, scrape down the sides, the, any, any cartilage, okay, any excess cartilage. You want to go ahead very carefully. And scrape that off. You could use a paring knife. You could use a different, any kind of knife. You could use a tournée knife if you want. But you want to have a real clean bone because that's going to make a nice for a nice presentation. Okay, and any any uh, excess cartilage that we have as well. Go ahead and remove that. Okay, and then underneath there's a little piece of cartilage as well, what you need to do is just cut maybe an eighth of an inch straight down. You want to cut it cut so you have a flat surface. Okay. And what that does is that helps keep your, for presentation, it helps keep your drumette bone, okay, standing straight up. Makes for a nice presentation. Had we not cut that after you cook it, you know, then that's the proteins are going to shrink, and that um, uh, it's probably still going to taste amazing, but the presentation is going to look a little off. It's not, not quite what we want. Okay, so that's why we cut that under uh, cartilage off. Okay, so that's that drumette bone's clean. Okay, what I'll do now is I'll come underneath, and I'm going to remove the tenderloin. Okay, there's a tenderloin that's right underneath the breast of the of the chicken. Just remove that. And we'll set that off to the side. Okay. And then from here on out, basically what I'm doing with this with this breast here, this is an airline breast at this point, is I'm removing any any ex excess cartilage, bone spurs. Uh, there's a little bit of fat around the side of the breast. You have to you want to kind of clean that up as best you can. Okay. And then any, if there's, as this this bird sear gets cooked, okay, because you're going to pan sear this, and then you're going to finish it in the oven, um, the skin's going to shrink, all right? So you can leave a little bit of excess kind of hanging over the meat. That's fine, but you can still kind of trim up the trim up the sides. And that's basically, that's what I'm doing here, okay? Making sure that there's not any excess fat or anything like that. Okay, so there is your your airline your airline chicken breast. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side, the other side of the breast as well. Okay, remember, scrape that bone down, scrape that drumette bone down. Excuse me. And then any excess cartilage that you may have, 
Come back up. And clean it off. Because we're going to be grading you guys on the on the uh, cleanliness of your of your grommet bone. Okay. Any any cartilage you leave on there, any excess blood as that cooks, okay, it's going to get dark. It's going to have these little black specks. It's going to affect the, the overall, the final product, the presentation. Okay, we go through all this trouble and all this work on this uh, drumette bone uh, for the final product for presentation. Okay, that's why we do this. Again, that little under piece of cartilage, cut straight down. Okay, and that actually that does two things. One is it It'll help to um, all the blood, you know, because the bone, there's, there's, there's blood and there's marrow inside, okay? So as it cooks, all that blood, instead of it spurting out the top, it's going to come out the bottom, okay? And then as well as, as uh, it's going to make a, a nice flat presentation, okay, for us. All right, so turn this brush over again. Remove the, the tenderloin. And then any excess skin, fat, fat um, bone spur, anything like that, we we'll go ahead and trim that up as well right now. And then later on, I'm going to show you how to stuff this, how we stuff this for dinner for two. And it's really simple. We're going to make a nice spores and cheese, spinach, uh, prosciutto stuffing. And it's going to go right underneath the skin. Okay, it's going to be beautiful when we, once we finish. So for the, the final product for the presentation, after we're done with the fabrication, let me break down these thighs real quick. I'll show you. So the, the, the entire leg portion of the chicken, okay, you've got the, the upper portion of the leg, which is the thigh, and the lower portion, which is the drumstick. Separating those two pieces, if you if you turn your the um, the leg upside down, as you'll see a little fat line here. That naturally there's a there's a joint in between those the thigh and the, and the drumstick. So Mother Nature kind of does have to work for you. All you need to do is cut right between that line, okay, and that's right between the joint. Okay, so then that that uh, separates the drumstick from the thigh. We'll go ahead and, and set these drumsticks off to the side because we're not gonna we're not gonna doing anything with them we'll probably save those for we'll save those for salad day okay but as far as your thigh we'll go ahead and remove the skin okay I don't recommend trying to pull the skin off use your knife use your, your bony knife and cut some of it away as much as you can okay try not to cut any of that oyster meat off <laughs> okay so took the skin off now Underneath, you've got the bone, okay, thigh bone. We want a boneless, skinless thigh. So what I do is I make a, I make a small incision, or I make one incision down the one side of the bone, and then I just kind of roll, I roll the bone toward me, continuing to slice, cutting that meat away. And then you can save these these bones. You can save them for stock as well. Okay, so I've got my boneless, skinless thigh, thigh meat here. Any cartilage you have, bone spurs, you can feel it. It'll feel kind of obviously rough and like sandpaper. Any cartilage. Okay, you can go ahead and just trim that off real quick. And then there you have your your thigh meat.
and what we're gonna we're actually gonna end up using this thigh meat for our croquette when we get move into our hors d'oeuvres block. We're gonna actually poach these poach these thighs. Okay, again, let me show you the, the second leg here. Remove the skin. And then of course that bone, that thigh bone. By making one incision and then just rolling that bone toward you, eventually you'll, you'll cut all that um, meat away from the bone. And then you've got your boneless, skinless thigh. And we always want to be, like I said, as economical and save these scraps because this would make these bones are great for stock. Great for stock. Okay. And the excess bone cartilage again. You want to go ahead and remove that. Because just like fish bones, chicken bones are also a choking hazard, physical contaminant. And I don't want to choke and die. <laughs> okay. So our thigh, we'll go ahead and pull that over. Okay. So your final product, what you're going to present to us is your your clean and dress, your clean uh, airline breast, okay, with the tenderloin on top. Okay, you've got your wings. You've got your wings here, you've got your legs that we'll use for salad day and then you've got your boneless skinless uh, thighs <laughs>